Hello, this is Martin Brossman, KI4CFS, and this is an exciting unboxing video of my second Open Spot 2. I really love them by Shark RF, Shark RF, and it came pretty quickly from overseas. The box is a little dented in, but you'll see they do a good job of double boxing it, so I'm not worried about it. So let's go ahead and unbox it. And the unboxing occurs. Do, 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 do. And there, that's what it looks like inside. You see that? It's got bubble, it's got the case, it's pretty durable, and I think it shits better this size. So let's get the unit out. Okay, even though the box is a little, little beat up, I'm not worried about it. It uh, states on the side the MAC address, the model number, the version, and some more information on it. No additional hardware required, all accessories included, built-in Wi-Fi and radio antenna, built into it, of course, designed for 24-7 continuous use, which is great. User manual available online at sharkrf slash open spot. Two-year warranty with official support, web interface, full API with documentation, USB powered, and create your own private radio network if you want. So now we're going to open this guy up. There it is. Nicely. See how it's cushioned well? So even though the box could take some beatings, it's still quite safe. And this is the basic beautiful unit. Notice it to scale. They do a nice job in putting it in. Excited to get this unit. Then on the back, there is the connector port and a little light. And then it will, a light will blink through on this unit. And then on the back, we have some information as well. And see that. And then when we take our little foam out here, notice that we have wonderful Shark RF stickers that we can put on our radio, the our windshield, whatever you like, <laughs> three of those, followed by the next box. Empty that out. And right here is the, let's get this over here. Right here is the power supply and cable. So open it up. There we go, and someone was asking about that as well, and uh, someone was asking about this, uh, and yes, you do need a separate power source, and here's our cable. It's that uh, USB newer cable that it doesn't matter what direction you're in, it plugs in, so we got that. I've labeled these with my labelers, and then we've got a a plug for every part of the entire world so these are things you want to take out and then it comes default with the US plug they might know that I was here since they shipped it and I just want to show it can come off and you can interchange it so they've done a good job in making this a global adapter a global adapter here so then let's go put this in I'm going to box this up, put it on the shelf, put all these guys in because I don't need them. Put that in there, back in our box, a little foamy thing in. I'll save these as well, the stickers, have to find a good home for them. And then close it down. Now, what we have is three core components here. Three components, the power adapter and the cable, and I found... Other cables seem to work well, but I'm sure this is uh, meant for this unit and then our unit. So let's disconnect this guy. Here we go, a cable. And uh, let's see, give it an idea. Pretty good link. Hopefully you can see this the spread of it. This is folded in half to give a reference to me. Plugs in here. And then I, on my other, I labeled this open spot two, so I knew it. And the cable open spot two. And then I put on here my contact information in case I take it out of the house and misplace it or something. Hopefully it'll come home. And it's got a little thing, probably you can put a cord or something on as well. Great little unit, very solid. The only thing I like to see more is the Shark RF people make more instructional videos. One I'd like to see is 
one showing the whole process of setting up D Star on the D Star radio. Roll it out, guys. If you need help, I'll interview you over Zoom. We can do it international. I can get my assistant to schedule it. It's okay to be on the camera. See, I'm on the camera in a small business. So I love small businesses like this. I'm very happy with this. I'm excited to get it set up. So I'll have one in the car all the time and one at my base unit. What's really neat is in the house, I'm amazed on my ICOM 51, ID 51, my ICOM ID 51, I seem to be able to access it from a lot of rooms in the house. So and not only do I have my base unit that is a 5100 ICOM, but my handheld seems to be able to access this too. So I'm learning more about that as well. But love having D-Star. Uh, it's DMR is a very good, affordable entry level to do it. I think both of them are a bit complicated to get set up and understand. Uh, I'll put the link to my other information on there for setting this up on D-Star. D-Star has the advantage of it can keep growing. A DMR is kind of a set system and we get what we get while D-Star has more potential for growth since the way it was set up, since it was set up. So whatever you like, this is a great little product. Hats off to the guys and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of my open spot tube wonderful little small company this is martin brossman